he began his life with something called twin to twin transfusion syndrome and um, it's an awful placental defect where one twin steals from the other. When he was born, he, um, he didn't crawl, he didn't walk, he didn't pull himself to standing when other kids, he didn't have those same milestones. My son, Gage, um, actually joined our family about five years ago. Um, he joined our family from a foster care situation and um, he experienced a lot of trauma in his first eight years of life and some, a lot of neglect and abuse and homelessness. In January of this last year, Grace was diagnosed with a brain tumor and uh, we had to reevaluate. <laughs> to reevaluate her life. When she was uh, injured in a severe spinal cord injury and uh, she's now a tetraplegic C6 which means from here down her body doesn't respond physically. I know about circus because I went to Highland right up the street so when um, they actually partnered with Neighborhood House, which I work for. So they brought some kids over, and Eduardo, he just always says, I'm too fat to do anything, and I'm too fat, and he does sports, but he sees other kids, and oh, they're super fit, and I'm not. So when he came to circus, that was one of his worries, like, I'm not gonna be able to do that, it's because it's too high, I can't lift myself. He just thought, I can't, why, how am I gonna get up there? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna fall. We started thinking about Circus Juventus and maybe she could come and talk to them and see what she could do. Um, she got into the Spanish web and um, that was really stunning and I think a big breakthrough because she saw that there was still that ability to move the way she used to. Maybe not the same way, but, um, you know, I, she got in and said she felt like she was in a cocoon. And then she was, uh, the, her arms came out of the web and it was just really exquisite. I mean, I saw um, my daughter start to really respond. There's a physical and a psychological reliance and trust that you have to build and for kids who don't have a lot of experience with trust being safe I think this environment is really unique it creates a, a need to trust that you can't avoid and that combination of no judgment and no competition and a familial environment that fosters trust gave Gage in particular a need or maybe a place where he could take risk and where he could be really vulnerable and quite frankly where he could fail and be completely successful because you failed because what you're really supported in is trying and we see the end product I think in the shows so we think they might be supported in succeeding like look at that great thing they could do but as I've observed his experience it's really that they're mostly supported in the effort and in the try and for a child who's quite afraid to take risk and isn't comfortable being vulnerable this place provides them a place where that's absolutely natural. So I think that's a game changer for him. The pediatrician told me to drop everything and put her on antidepressants. And I'm like, there's no way. We did drop skating, we did drop dance. Circus was the only thing she clung to. And I would say without doubt that activity and honestly the compassion and the patience of the coaches when she was so sick and she would lay down and they'd be like, they kind of help monitor, like, you know, she couldn't go on triple, you know, she's in high triple. She couldn't go up there with the brain tumor, she'd fall. They touch the community in so many ways and I know for certain that there are kids like Grace that they're saving and that their health and their friendships are very much impacted by what they receive at this community. He just started liking it and I think he started trying more and I think he realized how much strength he has. It's not 
really like your weight isn't such an issue if you train your body to you know I mean he just got really strong and he gets up there he <laughs> he really likes it just seeing him up there was awesome like yeah he can do it and now he knows he can do stuff that he thought he could never do he's not gonna be my kid who excels at sports he's just not he's got low muscle tone he has struggled with everything that your muscles do everything from swallowing to speech to kicking a ball, to hopping on one foot, to catching a ball. We're still working on some of those skills, and he's a fourth grader now. He's nine. He has a place where he will belong, where, you know, the other kids might tease him in school. He might never be, you know, the great sports star or whatever. Even, you know, Fayette is even hard. But here, he can do it. So I can never say enough about what this place has done, what Circus Juventus has done for her. And I know for a lot of different people. But just to be able to say, yeah, she's going to be fine. And I think this was key. I think coming to this class was key. That no one should underestimate the amount of work and the amount of finances and resources that are required to run this organization and that every ounce that is given is put back. And it is, it's put back, but it gives tenfold. It's like I'm receiving help for my kids to do something, and it's something I wouldn't be able to afford for them to do. But just, I don't know, if they ever see a performance, it's just really great to see what they do. But then when, as a parent, you're seeing your own kid, it's like, they're the huge star. Yeah, the whole show was awesome, but my kid was the best. Imagine what it takes the leaders and the staff and the faculty of this organization to create that every moment, all year long, for a thousand plus children. It's an incredible amount of work, and I believe that it's possible because it is a nonprofit organization that relies upon all of our hearts to invest in it as something we don't want to take for granted. So we essentially have to contribute to it and invest in it to keep the sanctity of what they've created here. If we don't, we risk losing that. <laughs>